How long does it take to get salmon from here to here? Let's find out. First stop, the breathtaking fjords of Norway. Landscapes carved by ancient glaciers and pristine coastal waters make this the perfect environment for salmon. They're grown in large pens directly in the sea, which gives them room to grow happily in their own natural habitat. When they've reached their optimum size, a hybrid-powered whaleboat transports the salmon from farm to factory. Now, it's onto the production line for preparation and quality control. They get checked, boxed, labeled, iced, sealed, then sorted by robots. Yeah, that's right, robots. Then it's onto the truck to begin its epic road trip to the airport. Question. How much Norwegian seafood is transported by Qatar Airways every year? Leave your answers in the comment section below. This is the Qatar Airways Cargo A7 BFG, coming into land at Oslo Airport. Its unique livery features some of our dedicated cargo staff. It can carry up to 100 tons of fresh salmon, and it's all kept at between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. More than 125 tons of seafood travel out of Oslo Airport every day. The captain checks the load, and it's time for takeoff. V1, rotates. What a perfect takeoff. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Right on time, the plane arrives in Doha, and within minutes, the cargo equipment transfers the salmon into climate-controlled trucks. From there, it's taken a short distance to our state-of-the-art climate control center. Here, it's checked, sorted, and prepared for onward destinations. And some pallets are sent directly to the Qatar Aircraft Catering Company, where thousands of meals are meticulously crafted for Qatar Airways passengers. Now it's back to the tarmac, where a passenger plane awaits. And here it is, world-class food, 35,000 feet in the sky. So, how long did it take to get from sea to plate? That's fresh. Don't miss out on our future videos. Click the subscribe button.